All right, guys, this is uh, DeMario at DeMario's Reef. I've been off the grid for a while, working, of course. But anyway, this is the, uh, the third phase of the video. This is um, not the finished product, but I actually stained it. Oh, not stained it, but I waterproofed it. Everything looks good. And like I said, I got to give thanks to uh, 915 Mang, who gave me the inspiration to build my own tank stand. Overall, the total price of this build was uh, roughly like $45 to $50 with the 2x4s and the black paint, which I'm going to paint right now. And I already uh, waterproofed it, so as you can tell, I did a pretty good job. I got the weight bearings, all the beams, nice and sturdy, you know, so everything looks good. Even now, to the bottom. On the bottom, I'm going to add a sump, of course, you know. If you guys have any comments, you know, feel free to um, leave it below. But uh, this project took me, the first day, it took me three hours to build it. And then I actually took another couple days off because of work, of course. But you can see everything is, I actually used um, some wood putty to fill in the corner, the joints. So I want to make sure everything, I sanded it down and everything. You know, hopefully it lasts a while. And I actually added some, uh, some... I don't know what they call it, but I think they uh, clamps or support clamps, which I bought from Lowe's. That's the smallest one, but I got the uh, these on the side. They're on all four sides, so supports. Excuse the mess. I still got to sand it down. I'm going to paint it over, so you're not going to notice that. But uh, that's the stand itself. Excuse the mess of my kitchen. That's my work area. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Once this thing uh, focus, uh, it's been a long road. You know, I watched the videos on uh, YouTube and I got inspiration. Plus from 915 Mang. But that's the stand without the top. This is the top right here. That's going to go on top. Once I finish painting everything, that's going to go right on top. So, like I said, that's my container right there for my roll water. I'm going to mix me some more roll water when I finish this. R-O-D-I water. Let me uh, rephrase that. And my Fukani rock is still cycling. Oh, and by the way, I got my tank... Uh, Monday, finally, cause let me tell you, it was a horror. I got the uh, the first tank from Amazon. It was cracked. They sent me a uh, second one. It was totally, totally broken. I mean, it was shattered in a million pieces. It was so many pieces. It was dust on top of the box. And they finally sent me a third one. So I got a 35 gallon cube tank. And once I get that up and running, I'm gonna do another video on the finished product. But I still gotta work on. My my sump, I, I cut the glass yesterday. That was another project. I'm using a 20 gallon long um, tank for the sump. So once all is done, let's see, once this is gonna go on top. Let me show you quickly. Excuse the mess, but that's gonna, that's gonna be the top. Let me get it lined up. And that's gonna be the top. So that's what it's gonna look like, okay? And everything is level. I even have my leveler, because as a matter of fact, if you don't mind me panning out, I'm gonna get the leveler and I'm gonna show you exactly, you know, excuse the mess of my kitchen, but I'm gonna get the leveler. Sorry about the mess once again, guys. You know, forgive me. But you know, when you start building, stuff starts to get tennessy, gets messy. And I have my leveler and it's level. Perfect level on all four corners. Everything's level. So that's a good thing. Once I put it in the middle, it's gonna level. But I'm right now from the painted black, so you're gonna see the finished product. All right, guys, if you have any comments, any questions, feel free to leave them below, and I really appreciate it. You know, honesty is a good policy. So any yeses or nos, I will take them all. <laughs> you know how that go, guys, and ladies. All right, you guys be safe out there, because it's a crazy world. Be blessed.